Movie review guy here, and I am at the Alamo Draft House in La Vista, Nebraska, for the annual Dismember Movie Marathon. I'm going to be watching five horror movies back to back. Usually, I did this in the uh, Alamo at Woodbury, but they're not doing the marathon this year, so I drove four hours so I could go to the Alamo Draft House Dismember Marathon here in La Vista, Nebraska. And in case you're wondering, my costume is Emperor Palpatine from Star Wars. Now bear witness to the firepower of this fully armed and operational battle station. You may fire at will, Commander. So I just got done watching the first horror movie in the Alamo's December Horror Movie Marathon. Uh, this was the 1980 horror film, The Hitcher, we watched. Uh, starring C. Thomas Howell and the late Rutger Hauer. I'd heard of this film before with its famous finger in the french fry scene, uh, but I'd never seen it. And you know, now I've seen it. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good film. Uh, plot synopsis this guy, C. Thomas Howell, is just driving down the highway and he picks up the wrong hitchhiker. <laughs> then it comes this cat and mouse game between him and the, uh, the killer. Uh, not the goriest movie in the world aside from the finger in the french fries but it's a uh, pretty psychological and uh yeah like i said cat and mouse game kind of reminded me of mad max and you know the road warrior movies because you know it's about you know driving around the highway between you know c thomas howell and rugger howard's character who just it's just <laughs> creepy as shit so good start to the horror movie marathon all right, so just got done with the second film in the Dismember Alamo Draft House Marathon. This was codenamed Trixie, also known as The Crazies. So, uh, basic plot synopsis, they have this virus that is released into this small Pennsylvania town, and it causes people to go crazy. Then the army comes in and they try to quarantine it, only making the situation much, much, much worse. So, yes. <laughs> this was the original Romero movie, not the uh, 2010 remake. And I gotta say, it was a fun film for this marathon. A lot of crazy stuff happens. You get the, the old lady with the knitting needles. You get uh, the priest who embalms himself or emulates himself. Is that the word, correct word? He sets himself on fire, <laughs> like a Buddhist monk. A lot of social commentary from Romero with this one, I think. He was kind of anti-military, but coming off of uh, Vietnam, you can kind of understand his uh, perspective on that. Uh, yeah, like I said, this was a fun film for the marathon, and uh, we're moving on. So, I just got done watching the third movie in the December Alamo uh, Marathon, and it was Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. <laughs> So, plot synopsis, uh, this just takes place 13 years after the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and we have a DJ and I believe a Texas Ranger, played by Dennis Hopper, trying to find the killers from that massacre, and they find them. <laughs> Leatherface and his brothers, they go after them, and then it's just shenanigans. <laughs> it's what's just balls to the walls craziness i mean this is another movie that i've heard a lot about but i've never actually seen myself now that i've seen it wow <laughs> words cannot describe how crazy this fucking movie was <laughs> hilarious <laughs> i gotta say i gotta give props whoever played leatherface in this particular movie he was just amazing because he's a mute character and he's got this mask on him but the expressions that this guy would give, the emotions that he was able to convey, mmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so moving on to the next film. All right, this is a review for the fourth movie in the Alamo Dismember Movie Marathon. It was the 1988 Blob, with a few ex um, exceptions of where the remake was better than the original. So just got done watching that Blob. <laughs> what can I say? That is a classic, a near-perfect movie. It's got some misdirections, which I've always appreciated, where you think one person is going to be the main character. Turns out, nope, they were not. The special effects 
they still stand up. I mean, yeah, you know, it's just someone dealing with miniatures, but it still looks just fucking cool. And the deaths are just so awesome. Like the one, the one guy who gets bent into two, the one guy who gets sucked through the drain pipe, and of course, the famous um, phone booth death. Mm. <laughs> and some just great comedy, you know. So yeah, that was probably the best of all the films tonight, but we still got one more and we'll see what that one is up next. All right, so I just got done watching the last film in the Dismember movie marathon. It was entitled Butcher Baker Nightmare Maker. What the film that was? Uh, Blot synopsis. I don't know if I want to do it. Uh, okay. Incestuous aunt has a thing for her nephew will kill anyone in hopes of uh, keeping him forever. <laughs> That's the plot synopsis. And we get uh, a side story where a very homophobic, a, a very anti-LGBTQ uh, detective is investigating. This was made in 1981, so it is a, it's a very, very dated film. But you know what? Spoiler alert, that guy gets hits. And that's like the last, one of the last things of the film is that, that motherfucker get just biting the dust, just getting filled with lead. So that's, that's the perfect way to end this marathon. An extremely homophobic bigot gets what he's got coming to him. <laughs> and like I said, the film is a, the film is a trip. Uh, now that you have all that, but you also got Julia Sweeney from SNL getting naked in this film. Uh, playing a high schooler, even though she was 30 when this was made. But if you want to see Julia Sweeney, if you ever want to see her topless, uh, watch this film, uh, Butcher Baker, Nightmare Maker, which doesn't even live up to its title. I don't recall her doing any baking whatsoever. Good night.